G'day guys, M Tim Tam here. Today in this tutorial we'll be going through the new render filter passes along with the raw settings within Octane Render. This is to give the artist a lot more freedom in terms of the compositing side, um, compositing their renders with these new uh, raw passes. Um, if you find in the render in the render layers, you'll see there's an option. Raw, diffuse filter, reflection filter, refraction filter, and transmission filter. So what the filter passes do is that they capture a lot more data, and specifically the BXDF, which is the way light works with each materials. And it is connected to the diffuse refraction, reflection, and transmission. And it just gives you a whole lot more data to work with in getting that crisp, clear, final look of your uh, To see these uh, different effects, let's go through the rendered raw and unraw examples of the XR. And this I'll be using Nuke. Um, and here I have the raw EXR and the Unraw EXR. Now on the import they look pretty similar. Very similar. They are exactly the same. However, it is in the actual render passes uh, that's different. So in this diffuse shuffle we have this where in the Unraw we have this. Now uh, it's very different, clearly. However, if we go through and merge the diffuse filter and the diffuse to make the raw diffuse, we'll have something a bit more different. So let's add a let's add a merge diffuse diffuse filter multiply. So you'll see it gives a lot more closer vibe to the final. So this is the raw, this is the unraw. And obviously there's that there's no gamma, there's none of that brightness finesse that I'm seeing with these, and these are exactly the same as you can see here. But I guess that's the that's the that's the raw nature of the render. Once you play with the gamma and the multiply, you can get the sort of same effect. But it's just a lot more easier than the raw. A lot more easier. But you're not, you know, you're not bound down to it. It just gives you a lot more freedom in terms of editing. Um, now, in order to make a true diffuse pass with the raw, you have to multiply the diffuse and the diffuse filter, reflective and the reflective filter, along with the transmission and transmission filter to make that one final raw diffused image. Um, and it's yeah a lot more easier for the post-production side. However, there's also two new render information passes that's been added, and that is the... Drum roll, please. Uh, the... Tangent normals. And the... Opacity material pass. So there's two new render information kernels, and that is tangent normal and also the opacity. Uh, for the opacity, is pretty stock standard. Any opacity information that your material has um, will be rendered in a different shade. Um, this can give you a lot more wee leeway with your compositing side. I'm sure you can see something fit for it. And the other one, tangent normal, is mostly to help with your baking normals. If there's any baking or if there's any baking and there's normals on it, then obviously uh, that information will be transmitted into. Uh, with, the tr um, with the opacity, there's also an opacity threshold. So if you were to go through the render settings and go through the threshold, you can change the outcome for it. There's also an opacity threshold where you can change the 
threshold of set capacity. So that's zero, that's one, and this is in between. Uh, I'm sure you can find the use of this. Um, this is the new raw filters and two new updated information kernels. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.